Good morning from me and a very confident fringe. I spent yesterday really hungover in bed, if I'm honest. Watched so many YouTube vlogs that I felt so inspired to film this. I would love to do a lot more vlogs. I would like one a week and I had a bit of a breakdown on Friday and a massive cry to my manager because, and it's all my fault, but I've been saying yes to too much work and not leaving enough time for me to do like my organic content creation, which I just love. And so I'm hopefully hiring an assistant, which just is hilarious, I feel like. And allowing more time for organic, um, shooting way more outfit pics on the street. My crumpets are ready and just gonna really enjoy getting back into not just my work stuff like i love my work stuff and i'm in the most incredible position and to be at a place where i'm saying no feels so wacky to some jobs but i just can't fulfill okay i can't i can't fulfill everything i want to at the quality i want to and meet the deadlines and be happy and keep my feed and what I'm producing the way I want to. I am going to go get my hair coloured tomorrow which I'm really excited. I'm a bit frantic today just because there is so much to do. It's so amazing though, it's such a first world problem to be crying about content on your Friday afternoon but I just had to make space for me and I feel like I've got more of a strategy going forward now which I'm really excited for. And aside from that I love speaking about the kind of influencer content creation industry. There's only so much I can share I think but I would love to speak more about the businessy side of things so if that's something that you want more of please do let me know in the comments. I'm rambling so much but yeah I've just I feel like I'm coming to the next chapter in my life and this will just I'm optimizing for more organic content, happiness, and just better content all around, I guess. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'll just get my crumpets. Quarter past 11 and I'm having breakfast with organic flora, which is vegan, organic, original, and this stuff, which is like vegan chocolate spread. So I'm just editing a YouTube video right now for a brand. Hopefully I can get that over to my management in the next couple of hours and that will be all done and dusted. And then I'm shooting later for another brand for National Dog Day, I believe. So I'm gonna need to get my, that's why I've got my hair done and I need to get some fake tan on and then shoot with Buster. I have no idea what my week's gonna be like. Sorry, that's such a lie, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, aren't I? So I can take you along to that. I'm gonna hate filming in public. Like it's so easy to, film in your flat, it's such a different ball game when you're in front of other people, but I'll film there. I always get questions like, what do you ask for when you go to the hairdresser in terms of cut and color? So I can get all the info when I'm there tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back through this branded video again. 20 minutes long so I just need to check for any errors make any final edits and then I can export it to my manager probably not the best vlogger in the world um, but this is what we're gonna do it's moments from my week there is no narrative and regardless as vlogging is a new habit it's not about getting it perfect but it's about keep on stabbing at it I've got some pan chocolate in the oven. They're nearly ready. Just raw pan chocolate are accidentally vegan, if you didn't know. So delish with the coffee. Louise Rowe actually sent me this mug and it's my favorite ever. You'd have to message her and ask her where they're from because I'm not sure. But they are handmade in, I want to say Somerset is my guess. Today, two main things going on. One, I'm doing a run through with LTK, my affiliate marketing platform, because tomorrow I've got a webinar with creators on the app of, quote, how to make it big like Molly Campsey. So, <laughs> and then, um, oh, those croissants look done. Look at breakfast. And then tomorrow, uh, later, I've got my salon appointment at four, which I'm so excited about. I get to go see April at somewhere in Queens Park with my salon and she is just the best. I think that's gonna be it for today. Oh my goodness, no, I need to shoot between my webinar and hair salon appointment and I really don't know if that's gonna be possible. 
Also, look at these incredible flowers that my boyfriend got me. He called me up the other day and he could tell I was stressed with work. And then these arrived at the door, which is just so thoughtful. I didn't take you out shooting yesterday just because I didn't feel like it was appropriate. Oh, I got six, uh, two on my plate, but I definitely have six by the end of breakfast. But once I hire my elusive assistant, I will definitely vlog me out shooting. It'll be a learning process as well because like I've notoriously never shot stuff on the street. Like I have never shot stuff on the, on the street. In fact, I might commit to posting my job ad today for the assistant. Need to throw some makeup on really quickly for this call. Maybe I'll use CC plus in light. Probably just one pump. Just even me out a bit. I honestly prefer not wearing makeup. I think that's uh, on account of me doing modeling for so long and wearing makeup was associated with often being like at work and uncomfortable. And after a while, the glamor of like having somebody do your makeup wears off, I feel like. And I was also in makeup that I, sorry, hated a lot of the time as well and really didn't suit me. And I just love having a clean, bare face. And I really don't mind going on stories without makeup on. In fact, I think it's important too. And I just think we're using filters so much. I really never ever use filters on my stories. I used to in the past, like years ago but it just doesn't sit well with me. Sometimes I might use a brightening filter if I'm showing an outfit picture, but just for lighting sake, but never anything that would change my face in the slightest. Not even uh, something to change lighting because it's just not honest. But I don't mind my face without makeup, it's fine. If you want clearer skin, you need to drink more water and to drink more water, you need to make, you need to reduce the friction of any new habit. So this makes it so easy, I love it. Blush from Iconic. I think if I could have any product on like Desert Island, it would be blush. So rogue, but I love. And then a little mascara. Camera dyed, absolutely classic. Um, just getting ready for my core, my little setup and Probably should get some clothes on now. I'll do a different lighting setup for tomorrow when I'm on the call with everybody else. I need to clean all this stuff up. Um, but I do quite like the studio vibe. Right, got my ring light on. Had a shower, got a denim jumpsuit, and I am ready for the run through in half an hour. I'll clean up all the crap behind me before we go on the webinar tomorrow. Good call, good call. Fifth croissant of the morning. I'm absolutely ravenous. Um, but so that was our run through. I've got the actual webinar tomorrow. Apparently one to 200 creators are on it. And yeah, it should be interesting and exciting. The clock is now on. I need to try and film some brown content, which I can't show you for reasons on YouTube. Um, so I might see you later. Right, I think I have filmed that successfully, which I'm really happy with. It was a bathroom scene and I had to do some stories and film a reel and it had to involve a shower and lots of electrics in the bathroom as well for the lighting, speaking of. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna take all of the footage to the salon and edit when I'm there. I'm gonna be one of those people with laptops when they're in the salon, but it seems like a perfect time to just sit, put my cans on and edit. I'm gonna chill out now. I should probably have some food before I go. I'm not actually hungry, which is bizarre because I only had the six croissants this morning. I literally think all six of them are gone, but maybe it's tactical to eat before my appointment at four. I'll eat at like three-ish because I'm in the chair for like six hours sometimes. I mean. So makeup back on again today. Just brushed through my hair. Don't really know what we're gonna do today at the salon, but just probably helping my grow out a bit more. We might go lighter, might go darker, might get a bit of a trim, a bit of a trim, um, but we'll see. I've got to pack my bag now. I haven't had lunch and it's already half two, so I'm going to need to pick up some snacks on the way. And I'm going live with another brand this evening at half five. Not live as in like live while some of my foils, live um, on the grid. 
So that's the plan for this afternoon. This is the most epic sprint onto the train. It's the wrong train. So we're in the salon with April. Hi. April I always speak about, obviously. And I get so many questions on what I ask for in terms of cut and colour. So we were just speaking about colour now, and I think nothing too drastically different, but I do have too much colour in the front here, which we're going to get out. Um, but April, what were you saying that you wanted to do with our the rest of the colour? Um, we just want to tweak it a bit so that it's not grown out so much. If you put the camera down there a bit, you can see how after a few months of growth, it gets a bit heavier here. Yeah. So we want to break that up by putting a low light through it to blend the dark down and then putting a few lighter bits in to give it a little spot. Okay, on. so just to blend. Yeah. And then how would you describe my colour if someone was um, actually going It's like to... a natural golden blonde balayage. And then bangs, longer, quite layered, quite heavy. They are quite, quite heavy, cool. aren't they? Yeah. That was me cutting them a lot of the time myself. So you're... <laughs> but I do like them thicker. Because I like it when you can't see gaps in the fringe. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like um, <laughs> Well, I mean, we all we all have our own styles that we like. What do you think for like cutting the actual like length of the hair? Loads of layers. Make sure it's nice and light. Molly's got a lot of hair, so. What do you think? Do, yeah. do you think we should add more layers in then? Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's cool actually. You wave it a lot anyway at home. So I wave then... it, and I also love doing that and go, getting more volume. And I feel like yeah. it's easier to get the volume when you. Yeah, when these are lighter. Yes. Definitely pick up a bit more. Yay! Yeah. yeah. Thank you, April. morning from the studio you might not be able to tell the difference with my hair I definitely can it's like darker more seamless color from where it grown out grown out grown out grown out over the past um, four months and had my hair colored since April with April so yeah I can definitely notice a different I love it got some more layers put in a little bit of length off the end for health this needs to get curled um, but I've got my webinar in just over half an hour, which I'm going to be so nervous for. I, I was nervous for the practice yesterday, but I get chronic nerves with stuff like this when I know there's an audience and you need to like perform. I used to get nervous even going to school and I used to just like fart in the car the whole way to school. So I'm naturally such a, such a shy, nervous person, but I always push myself through that because I feel like I'll get more from my life if I get through that barrier every single time. But I do have to have a pep talk with myself and I get mad nerves. What do you think of my hair and makeup? I did it a bit heavier than usual just because I want it to show up on camera. And this is what I'll look like. There's a bit too much light coming through that window, but uh, I might try and change that, we'll see. Um, sod's law. I will get some kind of gifting delivery halfway through. So I've got proper trousers on just in case that happens. And then the plan for the rest of the day is going to be, um, I shot a brand thing yesterday when I was in the bathroom. I need to edit that and hopefully send today, but I feel like it's gonna be a late one. Um, and then I'm shooting with another brand, another new brand today, which is why it makes sense to do my hair and makeup. And I think I'm gonna wear this for the content as well. Edit that and send hopefully today, tomorrow. I feel like I had something else to do. I guess this webinar as well. And I just really hope that my workflow will be better once I get my assistant slash maybe start saying no to some things. We're also so excited to have LTK superstar, Molly Campsey joining us in the second half through her LTK and has kindly agreed to a Q&A. So please add any questions for her or our team. I feel like that went really well. And I need to remember the feeling after I've done something that was a bit of a challenge and got me like a bit nervous, a bit excited because I think it just like grows you so much as a person. And it's not public speaking, but it's not not public speaking. That kind of stuff makes me really nervous, but it's over now, but it was really good. I actually you know what, I really enjoyed it. So I hope if you tuned in, you did too. And if you're not an LTK creator and you wanna think about earning money online through commissionable links and you have a bit of a following, then I would fully, fully recommend them. They love me. I love them so much. So that's good. It's now 20 past 11. I need to have some toast 
and set up the camera for um, shooting for a brand now. It's a drink company. Um, I think I'm actually gonna keep this on because I think it's quite fitting, not literally. And um, well, after that, and then I'm just gonna pop into my edit suite. <laughs> That's what I call my studio, which does everything. Then, um, and try and get this content to my management as soon as possible. Also on the subject of earning money online, that is something that I would love to be a bit more of a feature in the content that I create. Excuse me, let me know if that's what something you would like to see and I will create dedicated content to that. I decided to do a run this morning just because I'm feeling so unfit. And I can definitely feel like I'm putting on a few pounds, which is, yeah, fluctuations are fine. But I was just like, that's, that's I think indicative of too little exercise and too much bad food, which I'd like to change. So did a 10 minute run and I'm exhausted. My plan was to do a 20 minute run and feel like that was the bare minimum. So I'm either gonna do a break now, 10 minute walk back or 10 minute run. I feel like run is the right thing to do, but just like my lungs are so tight and I'm so out of breath. So I think that's the thing, I always go too hard and then I freak myself out and then I don't wanna exercise next time. So, but either way, it's more than I would have done. And I think that's the main thing about exercise is just do more than you would have done. And that's always a positive. Yeah, look, <laughs> a little bit nuts. But um, I did a half run, half walk on the way back. I was just about to go to Cost Cutter to get some Hovis. I was like, no, I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna go to Fabric Bakery in Hoxton for some sourdough bread. It's really cute in there. And um, way too much bread for one person, but I'm gonna slice it up and freeze it. Actually, I cannot remember whether I said this in the last second because I'm so delirious right now, but I was up till one last night editing, which is really not my vibe. I don't really push myself in the evenings like that. But I stayed up till one, so that today I could have it off. So fingers crossed, I don't have anything last minute to come through today. Oh, and happy National Dog Day. Um, I'm working with a new look for it, so I'm posting that later today. God, I so, look so ill. Um, how far did you go? Two and a half kilometres. So, um, but East London called, they want their vibe back. I got a third sourdough loaf and a oat milk that way. Now I'm going to go back and probably shower. Drink my coffee, shower as a first port call, and then um, get on with my day. But what a start to the day, it makes me feel so good. I feel very chuffed. This next section of the vlog is going to be sponsored by Topshop. I'm going to do a bit of a Topshop haul for you. Many tops, I've got a couple of dresses, some like a pinafore dungaree dress, blazer, jeans, and this shirt, which is what I will be starting with. Um, all links for everything will be down below, plus my sizes. And obviously everything is always shoppable on my LTK profile, which is down below. I feel like I'm having to like separate my hands from it, just because it's oversized, so I look a bit like a blob unless it's... <laughs> So item number one is this pale green, like a lime green jacket. It's very oversized, pretty much everything I will be wearing, maybe even everything exactly will be a size 18 in this whole section. And because it is so oversized, I would probably wear this on a Sunday, like a chilled, going for a roast look, when you just wanna be comfortable. Um, so I'm just wearing like a bra underneath it, but you could wear it open with a t-shirt. Then I've just paired it with some black leggings and some plain white shoes. I also think this top would look really nice with a pair of light trousers. But as it's coming into winter, I thought it's fine to wear it with some darker leggings. But yeah, it's very comfortable, it's very flattering. Um, it feels really good quality, very, like not too thick, but just the right thickness and it's got these pockets up here, so you could probably go hands-free. I love not wearing a bag out sometimes. As someone who is not a lover of logos, I was really surprised by how much I love this on. I don't know why, I think the fit's great. It's a very baggy sweatshirt. It has the logo good vibes only, and I don't know. <laughs> I, I maybe I'm not much of a logo girl, but I was like, I'm gonna give it a go. I really, really like it. I think white and cream suits me so well, especially when you have a bit of fake tan on. And I think it just goes nice with like my hair color, if that makes any sense. I've kept on the black leggings with the white trainers. Another just really cute chilled look, but 
I'm really not fancy like I'm not a girly girly dresser I would say sometimes I am if I feel like it but I also just love being comfortable being comfortable is so key for me this is such a great fit I find it really hard to find oversized stuff especially for high street brands that don't have a dedicated plus size range I find that Sometimes you can look swamped or it just isn't big enough, but this is so perfect. What do you think of this one? Because I love it so much. Another slightly more autumnal piece. As soon as I took this Cardi out of the box, I put it straight on and I wore it out. I actually wore it out to a girl's dinner with some black skinny jeans and my white boots, which you know I love. I think you can dress it down and make it really casual as well. But my point is that I loved it so much that I just put it on straight away. It's a cardigan so you can again undo it and just wear it open with something else underneath like a black cami or you can wear it up and I just think it's so good with the weather right now to wear this kind of thing out with a bag because I get way too hot if I have a coat and then too cold if I'm just in like a t-shirt or something. Um, but I really love it. Do you know what I also love about it is that it's black around the edges so that because I'm a fake tan addict it doesn't come off around the edges and that's one of the things that really draws me away from buying white and cream although I love it so much so this is perfect and on the inside it's kind of like a a greyish colour so it's a very practical <laughs> oh my goodness I've just been rambling on and I haven't been recording <laughs> Um, I was saying that um, this blazer I love on. It's like a dark chocolate cool toned brown. And again, it's a really good oversized fit on me. Put it just with a plain white t-shirt, kept on the uh, Jamie jeans. And then I've got my white boots that I am mad for. They're designer and out of stock. But um, I've just checked on Topshop and they have some white boots online. So go check those out. Um, so the black uh, brown blazer is I wasn't really sure how to style it um, but I really do like it with the white and the blue and yeah I think it looks good um, I was worried that it would be too officey because I love a blazer but I probably wouldn't go for brown brown would be like the last color I go for I've got cream black navy um, and like check and houndstooth and things like that but I really like it and obviously, sadly, one of the reasons I love it so much is because I feel like I've seen Matilda Jeff, who is my forever favourite influencer and genuinely influences me so much, um, wearing something like this before. They do also have a matching pant, um, but it was sold out in a UK 18 so I couldn't pick it up. But it, I remember it being um, good stock for all the other sizes if you wanted to do a suit it would also be great for back to work with some white trainers i think to dress it down um but yeah what do you think of this because wouldn't go for brown but i'm really feeling it um it's also quite like lightweight and just really comfortable as well next up and making me feel so autumnal is this black with white stitching pinafore dress um this is how i started with black boots again some tights and i just put this little like beige jumper underneath it so I got size 18 it's too big for me around the waist here so I'd need it to like pinch in here and I'd say it's slightly too short on me but that's just because that's my UK 18 shape like I'm quite typical hourglass and I've got bigger hips and thighs with a smaller waist but if you're somebody who has a bigger waist with smaller hips and thighs then I think this would be an ideal dress for you especially if you like showing off your legs but in the winter. It's really cute but it just doesn't fit me properly but I think on the right shape it would be so good. So I'm just being honest, um, it's cute but I don't think it's the best fit on me but definitely would fit a different shape very well. Okay, what do you think of this outfit, the trousers in particular? These are a size 18 kind of ecru cream cord. I styled it with a black plain cardi. This belt is also Topshop um, and then just some black trainers. I really like it. It's not very me again because the fit is like cool. And I think sometimes as a curvy person, I feel like I have to wear skinny jeans and it's just not true. These are so comfortable, I love them. I definitely can't wear them when the dog's here, um, but otherwise I think they're really easy to style. I've been after some like cream trousers and they just fit so well. I cannot tell you how comfortable they are. They feel like wearing joggers. I'll show you them close up. They're just very plain, got a couple of pockets here. Yeah, I really, really like them. And I really like this outfit that I've put them with. 
the weather is so much colder and I cannot tell you how much easier it is to be changing clothes and filming even the lighting's better um really enjoying autumn already um next this black collared dress i probably could have gone for it in a 16 because it's stretchy and i like dresses like fitted around my waist um so this is an 18 could have gone for a 16 but yeah these collars they're so new everyone's wearing them at the moment really like the v-neck i can even see a little bit of cleavage which i wasn't expecting i also chose the dress in rust so i'll show that to you in a second but can you see here like there just is some extra room and it could fit my waist a little bit better and then it would be mega flattering but i do still like it as an 18 it's stretchy it's comfortable again a really good one that you could wear with like boot heels or trainers i've just put it with some black chunky boots again because i think that dresses it down and makes it look quite cool i've missed black i've missed knit and so i'm happy it's back in my life um and yeah they're very flattering very comfortable the arm length is really good as well because i'd say i've got quite long arms and so i like it when it kind of comes over my hands a little bit just think it makes it look a bit more expensive and then here is the rust version very autumnal very flattering you can see how long the sleeves are, but I really, really like that. Um, very fitting, again, with the collar. It's very flattering v-neck. Really love this colour on me. And for autumn, I think it's perfect. Um, and I've just kept the same boots on with them, because I think I kind of like it. I really like the boots of this dress, actually. So, yeah, this is the last item. I hope you have enjoyed this part of the vlog, this little haul. Thank you for Topshop for sponsoring it. Everything will be linked down below including my sizes. So I'm going for brunch with Chloe in Soho, or Chloe Rose, you probably know her. I actually am not sure how to say her last name. It's either Mauta or Muta. So yeah, we're going for brunch at Greek Street. And I was like, whilst well, I'm in Soho, I might as well film a reel. And it kind of makes more sense for me to get to Zara for when it opens because I hate queues. So I'm gonna run my straightness through my hair really quickly. It's my new favorite way to like curl my hair and I think it works so well. I'm still so puffy because my alarm literally went off five minutes ago. Uh, it's gonna be a bit different for me today, this reel, because I'm not wearing any fake tan. And I was like, oh God, I need tan for the reel. I was like, no, I don't. No, I don't. But oh my God, look how small my face is. And so I'll just show you a couple because, uh, but it's just like how you would straighten, uh, how you would curl usually. And it's just like very, very lived in, very loose. Like, helpful if I put you down a bit. Yeah. Sorry, I got the door open, but I'm really hot. Inch and a half thick. I go down as if I'm straightening, then I flip the wrist and then just bring it down. I'm doing it quite quick just so it's quite a loose wave and the heat won't have much time to penetrate, so then it will be really like. Yeah, like a loose wave. And I'm just gonna brush everything out as much as possible. See what the bangs are saying, I might might do them so skewiff. Might do them after I've done my makeup. What a beautiful combination. This is Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in I think number two. <laughs> number two, <laughs> light. And the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation SPF 30 in the color 101. Oh no, 300 neutral, med 300 neutral, neutral medium fair. And you have to shake it before you use it. And I actually hated it the first time I used it. And now it's the only foundation that like matches my natural no tanned color exactly it, it's a smidge warmer than my neck but you, you can tell um but i really think it's so beautiful now it comes out like a liquid i'll show you it's a very liquidy i used six drops on my face and then when you actually work it in it's like so thin but so pigmented and it's so smooth to blend um, it's a really really beautiful foundation i would recommend this is my final for my two old to stay fit. Ganny bag, Topshop blazer, H&M white t-shirt, American Eagle jeans, white Air Force ones are they? I'm off to Soho.
nothing makes you feel sick more than vlogging in public and that is the exact reason I'm doing it. It's actually really quiet here at Tottenham Court Road but why does the Zara look sharp? Oh no it can't be. Um, but yeah I'm gonna go film this vertical content in Zara now. I don't know if I focus properly and then I feel like I'm probably gonna be in a rush and go and meet Chloe at Greek Street. Um, so, yay, confidence. I feel like that was so successful, like time-wise as well, which if you know, I'm just crazy about time. The fact that I could get to Soho and film like a reel's worth in an hour you know, was is really impressive. So I'm actually early, I thought I was going to be late for brunch, so I'm going to head to Soho House Greek Street now. Obviously I can't film there, but yeah, seeing Chloe, catching up with Chloe, maybe chatting about how we could work together a little bit. And today is a very productive day. Maybe I earned the, uh, the good karma after my run yesterday. You just get used to it, but by the way, when you're around um, Oxford Street in here, just be careful because those motorbikes always come Cameras get nicked, yeah. yeah. I need a new camera anyway, so it would be doing me a favour. Oh, are we rolling? We are rolling already. Um, just some health and safety tips there from Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> We've just had a, a great Serious brunch. Here in the back. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Be careful of thieves. <laughs> um, we've just had a very nice little brunch talking yeah, about really mainly work and we are brewing an idea for YouTube about it's like... Really exciting. I think it's going to be so exciting. Um, you guys are going to love it. Yeah. Go follow Chloe if you haven't already. <laughs> um, not get one over. I yeah. look really small next to you now. I'm like, yeah, look, this is just... People are like, you're not an 18. I'm like, I'm so big. You have no idea. No, I mean, hi. Um, yeah, everything's bigger. But anyway, yeah, we're going to do a YouTube video together about like being an influencer and earning money online and stuff. So that'll be on both of our YouTube channels. So follow us on socials for when that comes out. And actually, ask us any questions in the comments if there's yeah. anything that you want to know now about earning money online. Okay. Right, peace out. Peace. Bra off. Packages for hair. We'll unbox in a second. So excited about those. I feel like there might be a third one as well. Oh no, that's something else. Coca-Cola. Fresh falafel wrap. Um, so classic, goes to brunch and then goes pick up lunch. But um, brunch is small and it's like half two and I have no food in. I need to do another Tesco shop. <sighs> Original Coke, five ever. Um, that was a really nice brunch. I really enjoyed that. It gets you exciting and I feel like it's so rare that I can speak to people and like talk about to people who are in the same position so I love meeting up with other creators I know them all basically through LTK it's just fascinating like sharing stories and experiences and we're all in the same boat together and you can help each other so much with information and I'm excited for this video with Chloe I need to speak to our managers now about getting a potential sponsor maybe um and where we're gonna film but yeah we're gonna do that on the 10th of September September next week, nuts. But September next week means farmhouse for me and the boyfriend. Very excited. I also really don't mind me without tan on. Um, hair's darker, skin's lighter, and just put a new look for me, quite natural. I'm gonna eat my lunch now and just chill out for a bit. I must be doing something right because my battery just died from all the vloggings that has been happening this week. I meltdown. I probably said this before, but I did have my Friday meltdown, so I'm surprised that I am so geared up for working this week. But um, my unboxing, so got a bit ahead of myself. I just opened my Colt Beauty, and I've got this is 22 quid. <laughs> it's the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I had a really big bottle of this. How on earth did I afford that in my early 20s? It's like 48 pounds for the full size bottle. But I was like, I'm gonna test this first again because I haven't had it for a few years. Um, but I just remember it being the most phenomenal volumizing, voluminizing uh, spray. So that's Orbe. And then this um, Whey Matte Pomade which I've seen people use for styling their bangs and also for doing like a slick back, like a really slick back bun look. And it smells divine. And all of the way products that I've used have been um, performed really well for me. So I thought I would use that, give that a go. 
and I should have my GHD brush that I ordered but I can't seem to find it um, but I think I know what these are so this will be Amazon I ordered some of those special hair clips so these ones and they're like just when I was um, on the wilderness trip with GHD a guy called Chris used these on me and it worked so well so I'm really excited to try them out it's so basically you style your hair and then whilst it's say I just did my bangs and whilst it's drying you can like manipulate the hair whilst it's still hot and then it will cool in certain ways that you want it to like that for example and this is a package from Etsy which is a life hack James Clear spoke about this in Atomic Habits and I actually already did this as a habit so I was like extra chuffed but he was like if there's something that you really need to do in life that always when it comes around it's like a bit of a pain you have to remove the friction so an example of removing the friction is buying cards already like really beautiful cards and I just have them down here in my office with a stack of stamps and some nice pens so anytime I need to write a birthday card a thank you card whatever I can do it at my desk and post it straight away and oh my goodness it helps so much they've got loads of independent sellers on Etsy so I like to buy from the small people and this one is from Combossa Studio I'm sure they're like flower oh no these are abstract art ones I chose I thought they were really cool and also I like them because you can literally write anything in here they're not event specific Right, I'm going to sign off the vlog now. I'm off to Chicone's Mayfair with my girlfriends. It's bank holiday mm, Sunday. So we're going to do, yeah, like Italian food and drinks and stuff. Probably go to Soho after. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I hope you really enjoyed my... It feels like my first ever vlog. And I will see you, I guess, in the next one. I really want to make more space and time for these because I did enjoy that. Let me know if you think it was good. Let me know if you think it was bad. And either way, please give some reason why. Um, okay, Koki, okay, okay. I will see you in the next one. And thanks for watching.